Manchester United is known for having one of the best and historic academies in the world of football. An academy graduate has featured in every single Manchester United match they scored since 1937. From George Best, Duncan Edwards, the class of 1992, recent introductions like Marcus Rashford, even Paul Pogba was an academy player. Manchester United have got a new era. The under 18 kids, potentially the class of 2024. This is one of their most special academy teams. Yeah, Kobu Maino and Garnacho have been introduced into the first team, but there are some extremely talented players that could be playing for Manchester United in the next couple of years. Looking at the league, 47 points. So clear everybody else by 13 points. 53 goals scored, 14 against. Unbeaten, the Man United Academy is. And looking at the under-18s, most of it is made up by 16-year-olds. And here were some standout players in the under-18s so far this season for me. Harry Amass, we're going to talk about him in more detail. JC Fitzgerald, Ethan Williams, Jack Fletcher, one of the Fletcher twins. And of course, Gabrielle Bianchiri, who's just been called up to first team training today. Special player we signed from Cardiff in the summer. But let's talk about Harry Amass. We're then, we're then going to talk about some other talents in the under-23. Shay Lacey, Amit Ibrahimov. Who, who are the special players? Starting with Harry Amass. You've probably heard his name or maybe this name rings a bell because Luke Shaw's injured, Malassi is injured. Everyone's saying, you know, why don't we play Harry Amass? And while he is 16 and maybe just needs another year before you throw him in a big Premier League game at least. He has been absolutely amazing for the under-18s. I don't watch every single under-18s matches, but I do watch quite a lot of them. And every single game I've watched, he has stood out as like top two or three players, sometimes the best player. One goal, three assists in 13 games. Profile-wise, he is similar to Luke Shaw in terms of his profile-wise. And a little bit Grimaldo, he looks a bit more attacking-wise to Luke Shaw. But I think Luke Shaw is a lot more attacking than people actually think Um to his game. Harry Amas is a modern attacking style fullback with great technical ability, desire, pace and crossing skills. Manchester United lack a lot of players with that technical ability. People that are comfortable on the ball, move the ball, can break the lines, good in tight scenarios, good with the ball at their feet. He has that. Not only is he good athletically, he's fast, he can cover a lot of ground, but he's very good technically and he's a very forward thinking fullback. He likes to drive forward, he likes to get forward, he likes to attack. Whether it's one twos to drive up the pitch, whether it's him dribbling up the pitch, He's a proper modern style fullback that loves to bring in a cross as well. His pace, his desire, his ability and crossing skills are exceptional. He reminds me a little bit of Connor Bradley, who's doing well for Liverpool. A little bit of Robertson in that sense of just wants to attack, put a cross in, but got that pace and desire, which makes him very good 1v1, not just attacking wise, but he's very good 1v1 defensively. He's very good athletically. He's got that good pace. He's got that good stamina. So he can cover a lot of ground and he can close down space quickly, stop transitions or win tackles. He's very, very good defensively for an attacking mind of fullback. Um, but I think what makes him stand that is his crossing. I think his crossing is so pinpoint, so accurate. The weight of pass is absolutely fantastic. His ability not just to progress the ball, break lines, be press resistant, be a modern technical player is brilliant. But his positional awareness, his IQ, his matur maturity, his defensive awareness, his all round game is fantastic. And Harry Amas is a special player, but the most special in the academy is Shay Lacey. And we're going to save we're going to save a conversation about Shay Lacey for later. But there's a reason he's getting a lot of hype. Unfortunately, he's been injured most of the season. In terms of under 23 talent, Willie Kambala featured the first team. Dan Gore's on loan. Joe Hugel's on loan. Charlie McNeil was one that we signed from Man City with about 600 goals. And Toby Collier has recently been getting on the bench for United. Amid an injury crisis. We signed him from Brighton about two seasons ago. He was actually really good at Brighton and he's been England captain throughout all the England ranks, highly ranked by England as well. There's obviously other academy graduates at Manchester United who actually are registered for the first team. Brandon Williams is out on loan, but he's registered for the first team. Evans and Heaton are technically academy graduates. Alvaro Fernandez is at Benfica, he's still a United player, even though he's going to leave in the summer. He's an academy graduate. Shame he never got a debut because otherwise he'd definitely be in this video as one of the most special players. Just realised we lost focus there, so do apologise. Uh, Cobby Mayno, do I need to even explain how good he is? I've done videos on how good he is, so do check them out after this. Hook Tomine, Mejbury, Forson, Rashford, Garnacho, even Greenwood and Shola have featured in the academy. 
in the past saw a lot of players, but there's a lot of players even not playing for United that have recently come through the academy and doing really well. And Lang was doing well at Forest, Teller Mengi's doing fantastic at Luton, James Garner's having a great season at Everton, Angel Gomez, oh, I wish he got an opportunity at Manchester United because he's a very, very special player at Lille. Andreas Pereira's been decent at Fulham, McNeil at Everton, Harrison at Everton, and of course Dean Henderson at Palace, not been playing loads because of injuries. Kovar's gone to the Bayer Leverkusen, but he is second keeper. There's a lot of Manchester United players having good careers away from United creating good level players now the one to watch for me which we haven't spoke about yet is Ama Ibrahimov and I've spoken about him in, in another video and I'm going to do another video on Ama Ibrahimov soon but this guy was the guy that basically at like age 14 or 15 um, made his debut for like the under 16s scored made his debut for the under 18s scored he's the guy that just has played for under 18s under 23s against Liverpool scored this guy could be special but we're here to talk about the most special player in the Manchester United Academy, the one to put an eye on, Shea Lacey. Now, this is something that I wrote back in September that I wanted to read out to you guys because he has been injured quite a bit since then. But this is what I wrote about him in September. Shea Lacey, at just 16 years of old, is tearing up youth football this season. He lit up England under 17s during the international break, scoring two goals with his weaker right foot against Spain and delivering two, and I mean two, outrageous assists. You should definitely look them up from 35 to 40 yards out with his left foot against Portugal. Shea's Shea, 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 unique skill set and the men's technical ability set him apart from his peers, drawing comparisons to Foden. Shea Lacey. I keep sometimes I call him Shea Lacey, but I know it's Shea Lacey. It's just like, you know, when he's caught in your head. So he's drawing comparisons to Foden. So I'm going to explain a little bit about who this guy is. Primarily operates as a right wing as forward, but also can set, uh, excel in the middle row, also often plays on the left. His ideal position, I think, is cutting inside on his left foot and to create scoring opportunity for himself or his teammates. He's a playmaker. His ability to make those long line breaking passes showcases his elite vision and football IQ. What truly makes him stand out is his technical skills and dribbling ability. His quick feet and close control allow him to glide past opponents effortly. With only a select few academy players that will ever make it at United, I believe Lacey could be the one from his age group. He's the most exciting player born in 2007 after Lamar for me. And I stick with that. I stick with that. I know he's been injured, but I stick with that. So let's talk about Shea Lacey. Why is he so good? Why is he so highly rated? Well, he's just an incredible talent in terms of his technical ability. He's got that messy Foden, Foden resemblance when, you know, when they're so easy to watch, when you can see how comfortable they are with the ball at their feet, gliding past opponents, their ability to pick out a pass. But his close cold and dribbling is what makes him stand out. His ability to get out of tight spaces. We praise Mayno for just having the ball, having about four defenders around him and just nutmegging these defenders and going past a few defenders. He's at Mayno in terms of technical ability. He can beat players 1v1. He can weave between players. He's got that pace, that quick burst of changing, quick burst of pace, that change in direction, that agility to make him really hard to tackle, to make him electric at times, but also the ability to just weave in and out of players. He's got an elite passing range that is absolutely pinpoint. The weight of pass is fantastic from Lacey. Uh, the delivery on his left foot could not be much better. His ability to play the ball from deep and actually play players through and create goal scoring opportunities, splitting defences or doing short little intricate passes from just out from the half space just into the box to putting in swinging crosses, byline crosses. All of that is fantastic. His vision to make those defence splitting passes, his IQ, his vision, his reading of the game is absolutely elite. He seems like the IQ, the technical ability, he's at the top. I think physically he needs to improve. He can get pushed off the ball a little bit easily, but just because of his physicality, maybe he can improve his weak foot. But he can create goal scoring opportunities for teammates and he can create goal scoring opportunities for himself. And one thing that makes him stand out is his versatility and tactical intelligence to play across the attacking line. Very similar to Phil Foden and reminds me of Phil Foden a lot in his academy days. Now, the last guy I want to talk about is Jack Fletcher. The Fletcher twins have come to Manchester United from Manchester City's academy. And they have not disappointed, particularly Jack. He plays for the under-18s and he's strained with the first 11. He's centre mid, but has the ability to play DM, but he's definitely like a box-to-box. -box. He's six foot, he's tall, he's physical, he's all-round technically. And IQ-wise, he's very good and he can make attacking and defensive contributions. He's very complete as a midfielder. His elite vision and passing to find teammates from deep is what makes him stand up for me. He can produce switches of play and through balls. He's a midfielder that is very comfortable on the ball and has a very, very good passing range, which is something we lack in our current midfield at United. His passing range and composer allows him to dictate play from deep. He can control the tempo of the games. And I think he could be that maestro kind of midfielder. He's got great ball control and dribbling skills to get him out of tight spaces. His technical ability, while it's not going to be Bobby Maynard's level, is still very 
very good. He's very comfortable on the ball and a lot better on the ball than a lot of our first team players. And he's very comfortable in press resistance. And he's got that good first touch and passing accuracy. So he retains the ball well. He's good at keeping the ball. doesn't give the ball away silliness because he's got that calmness, that composure, that maturity upon his age. But he also makes very good decisions. What makes him so special, I think, is really, for me, his understanding of the game and tactical awareness. I think he's the kind of guy a manager likes because a manager can make tactical tweaks and he'll be aware of how to position himself, how to change roles. He's one of those guys that really, I think, intelligence-wise understands the game and is tactically aware and is good for managers. His reading of the game is really good. I think he's, a, he's an interception monster and he positions himself to stop those line-breaking passes, to stop oppositions threatening us. But I also think he, has, he shows qualities of leadership, potentially could be a future captain at United and got that elite worth effort and he can press well and he can cover lots of ground he's athletically good off the ball he's very good on the ball and I think that's what makes him stand out for me anyway people that is my video summing up the Manchester United Academy the kids this year are an absolute joke in the under 18s and I mean that in like they're crazy good please do subscribe thank you for watching see you next time bye